about 18 selected civil society organizations and non-government organizations under democracy strengthening in Zambia. Representing 10 provinces of Zambia have received the money amounting to more than 17 million kwacha from the United Nations through the United Nations Development Program and other cooperating partners to help and promote voter education and stakeholder engagements ahead of the 2021 general elections. Speaking during the launch of the civil society grants to promote voter education and stakeholder engagement in the 2021 electoral process, specifically targeting women, persons with disability, persons in lawful custody, and hard to reach voters in Lusaka. Zambia United Nations coordinator Dr. Kuba Magadio says that the vision of this project is to support elections which are democratic and credible, as well as elections whose outcomes which enjoy stakeholder trust and confidence and also widespread legitimacy. It is my hope that the work of the CSOs across the 10 Zambian provinces will enlarge the footprint of those currently providing voter, voter education and public awareness about elections, such as the Electoral Commission of Zambia and non-state actors. It goes without saying that as we execute this assignment, we should be seen to be complementing rather than duplicating efforts, synergies, synergize and collaborate rather than competing, ensure that we uphold the human principle of national ownership, respect of national sovereignty, which in this case is Zambia's sovereignty, impartiality, gender and social inclusion, transparency and integrity. Speaking at the same event, Chief Electoral Officer of the Electoral Commission of Zambia, Patrick Shindano, says that ACZ expects all the chosen CSOs to deliver to the people of Zambia. As we head towards election, it's important that people understand the process and from an informed perspective. We will continue to harness the strengths and abilities of each other to scale our solutions for the country. Additionally, we will also continue to look for new ways to drive collaborative innovation that delivers on what the targeted segments need today and indeed the future. And your NDP residence representative has this to say. Down the road, our work with civil society should not be considered as a separate domain, but rather as part of an overall approach to bring state and society together which is intrinsic to strengthening social contracts and furthering human development. First, impartiality and neutrality, which will require each grantee to undertake voter education and stakeholder engagement in a manner that does not favor or prejudice any political party or candidate during the elections. Also in attendance, Director of Governance in the Ministry of Justice, Mr. Yangwe Kakusa, who was representing the ministry as co-chair of the DSZ Steering Committee, has urged all the civil society organizations that has received the grants to put them to their intended use and in accordance with the proposals they had submitted. I therefore would like to urge all the civil society organizations that will receive these grants to put them to their intended use and in accordance with the proposals they had submitted as this was the basis on which the grants were awarded. Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka.